on a day can Alira X split system with advanced streamer technology to remove more than 99% of harmful indoor air pollutants and surround yourself with cleaner air this summer. Dakin, perfecting the air. Weather now, and it was a calm night in the state with temperatures generally around the July average. Got down to as low as minus five at Mount Hotham. We stayed calm through the day, some isolated showers on the ranges, but it was mostly sunny elsewhere. The maximums were typically two to four degrees above average in the west, closer to average elsewhere. 19 was the state's high recorded in Mildura, Lakes Entrance and Orbost. In Melbourne, the city peaked at a sunny 14.5 degrees just after 1 o'clock in the afternoon. Across the capitals today, Perth and Sydney saw some clearing showers and it was mostly sunny over Adelaide, Hobart, Brisbane and Darwin. The trough is bringing patchy mid to upper level cloud from the northwest of the NT through Queensland to New South Wales and a cold front in the bite is driving a cloud band over the southern, western and south Australian states to Tasmania. A cold front to the west is set to reach the far southwest tonight, hitting the rest of the state on Saturday, bringing with it cold southwesterlies. And those cold winds will bring showers over Tasmania, Victoria, and southeastern parts of New South Wales and South Australia. And a cold front over southwest WA will bring gusty showers. For the capitals, showers over Sydney, a shower or two in Hobart, showers easing in Adelaide, partly cloudy in Darwin, and mostly sunny in Perth and Brisbane. Back home and Saturday will be wet. There will be isolated storms paired with cloud over parts of the state with widespread showers in the southwest to extend into southern and mountain districts during the early afternoon. A high of 11 in Bendigo, the same in Hamilton. There's a chance of hail near and south of the ranges during the afternoon and evening. Snow falls above 1,400 metres, lowering to 600 metres from the west during the afternoon and evening. 15 in Shepparton and 17 in Bedstown. On the bays, normally 15 to 25 knots will reach up to 30 early in the morning. Winds back to 15 to 20 knots, turning westerly in the middle of the day. Waves between 1 and 2 metres, decreasing below 1 after the day. There's a strong wind warning for the Port Phillip, Western Port, West Coast, Central Coast and Central Gippsland Coast Districts. A frost warning for East Gippsland and a warning to sheep graziers in the northeast, Central, West and South Gippsland, as well as East Gippsland Districts. Now, going to tomorrow in Melbourne, and there will be showers up to 10 millimetres set to fall, and possible small hail in the afternoon as well, and into the evening, a max of 13 and a low of 10 degrees, so cold but wet and wild. And looking to the week ahead, Sunday a shower at 2, 12 degrees. Monday, those showers should start clearing, a high of 13 expected. Tuesday, partly cloudy, 13. Wednesday, sunny and 13. Thursday mostly sunny and 13, and Friday mostly sunny and 15. That's it for this evening's bulletin. Thank you for your company. Good night, stay well, and enjoy the Olympics if you're watching.